So when we're talking about seeing versus getting, so the point of seeing versus getting is what are you seeing versus what are you getting? And I think that I'd like to consider myself astute enough to think that I can see things and know exactly what I'm getting. And I'm going to have to be honest and say that that's not always true because there's a way that I see things in the beginning or as I'm first seeing things which has a lot of like desire and expectation. And so sometimes I'll see things I want to see that aren't really there in people and situations and opportunities. And it takes a little while for me to sort of study the opportunity, the person, pay attention a little more closely to really understand what I'm getting exactly as opposed to what I think I'm getting. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, I could be in a relationship for a couple of years and realize that what I'm getting was not what I was looking for or not what I was seeing in the first place, right? Because again, when opportunities are new, when relationships are new, it's really, really easy to be seeing what you want to see because I do believe that your world is a response to your desire. So as you're looking for things or you're thinking about what you want and they appear, it seems perfectly natural and normal to be like, oh, this is what I've been looking for. Oh, this is what I want, right? But then that's when you end up uh, disappointed. And it's interesting. I spent some time with a friend this morning and we were talking about that, how it's like she met somebody and she thought he was one way, like really healthy, really spiritual. And now sometime later, you know, he's not so spiritual to her, not so healthy, right? Same thing with like when I first met certain people that have entered my life more recently, it was like, oh, I had more opinions and judgment of like, she's like this or he's like that and this is what it means. And, you know, I was seeing things because sometimes I can not just also see things I want, but see things that I don't want as I'm sort of like nitpicking and being hypercritical and also searching for what I want, but also being like, well, I'm not going to get what I want. So let me find fault and dismiss this or get away from it. And what I'm trying to say is that it often behooves me to take more time rather than think that I can gather all the information I knew, know to um, assess the situation right off the bat. Because I hate to say it, but I've been wrong and I've been wrong a couple of times. And I think that that's the beauty of time. And I've heard this acronym for time, this I must experience. And that when I give myself time, when I give myself enough experience, and when I'm willing to show up and really just pay attention to a person, to a situation, everything reveals itself. Like, I don't gotta go into hyper analysis mode and be like, well, was I wrong? Did I see this and I really wanted to see that? You know, am I misguided in my perception? Am I never really gonna have pure perception because I'm in fact delusional? Um, but, I don't think so. And yet I kind of think so. I mean, <laughs> to be, to be really clear and honest, I mean, I'm definitely like delusional, you know, and, um, at least I'd like to not admit it and I will admit it because, and again, to delusional to me, isn't the insult. It seems I'm not being self-effacing or, um, self-critical. I'm just clear that, um, even though I'm quite honest, I can often see things in a way that aren't exactly honest and aren't exactly clear and aren't exactly me being forthright with myself. So I think it's just really important to understand what you see is not always what you get, but here's the other piece of it. You know, since clearly I'm in the field of personal, spiritual, and self-development, it is all about knowing that what you get is what you're supposed to be getting. I, I never, like, I don't sit back then and say, let's just say I saw something in an ex-boyfriend, you know, years ago, and then when the relationship came to an end, I was like, oh, that's not the way he is. I don't look back and, and like, berate myself for not seeing it in the first place. Cause again, that's the benefit of time. It takes time to see certain things. It takes time to figure out whether or not those things really do match up with your present day experience and with the accurate perception of both yourself and the other person as a match, you know, cause it takes time sometimes to realize that your perception was inaccurate. But I, for one, as a person who's trying to self-actualize and develop, I'm not interested in looking back and going, oh, what an idiot. You should have seen that. Oh, that was really dumb, Nicole. Oh my God, how come you didn't see that before? Wow, you should be smarter than that. Wow, you should know. Wow, you're like 54 years old. You really should know better by now. It's just like, I'm not gonna be uh, having those kinds of talks with myself anymore. That's just a waste of time. So I'm gonna be happy with what I get. I might see delusional things. I might see things I want that aren't there, but I am going to be content with what I get because it's always going to teach me something. So as you're headed into the weekend, I hope that you're 
okay with your decisions and understanding that you're getting what you need. Have a great day.